is now. Louisville police are releasing surveillance images and body camera footage of Monday's confrontation with the shooter at Old National Bank. And a few moments ago, we just got in these new images to our newsroom. Yeah, so that first one, this one you're seeing right now, is a still image, authorities say, of the suspect inside the hallway before the shooting. And this one, they say, is a still image during the shooting when the gunman went to the front lobby, set up an ambush, waiting for officers to respond. Now, five employees were killed and an officer was critically injured during the police response. We're also learning more about the attack and the weapon used. Roxana Sayberry reports from Louisville. A memorial is growing outside Old National Bank in downtown Louisville, the scene of Monday's mass shooting. We do pull together in a tragedy in time of you know, like this. Police confirmed the gunman, an employee at the bank, bought the murder weapon exactly one week ago and used it to gun down five colleagues. He purchased the weapon legally from one of the local dealerships here in Louisville. The police chief said items were recovered from the suspect's home but would not give specifics or a motive. It's about a nine minute span from the time he begins his assault. And then a few minutes after that, before we get the first call on it, three minutes after that, when we respond to the scene, and then about three minutes after we respond, the subject is neutralized. City and hospital officials expressed frustration over the gun violence epidemic. It's more than tired. I'm weary. Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg, who has experienced gun violence firsthand, said it's time to take action in America, starting with local laws. Under current Kentucky law, the assault rifle, that was used to murder five of our neighbors and shoot at rescuing police officers will one day be auctioned off. Think about that. Officer Nicholas Wiltz underwent brain surgery for the gunshot wound he sustained engaging the shooter. The officer is still in the ICU. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Louisville, Kentucky. Now to Nashville, where there was an unexpected ceremony for a mile-long lay of aloha. Initially, volunteers planned to leave the lay at the entrance of a school where six people were killed last month. But Saturday morning, Covenant Church members invited the Hawaii delegation to join a huge Easter weekend gathering. Volunteers presented the lay with Native Hawaiian chants, song, and hula. I think there is, you know, definitely a deep appreciation, um, you know, when another community comes so far away. And and, uh, I think, you know, I think people are touched and they need that during this time. That that message that we are one, you know, message message of solidarity. And that's the main mission of Erle. And I think that was achieved today. The names of the six victims killed are printed on shells on the lay. A small section of the lay was hung on the stairwell where the shooting happened, and another section was given to first responders. 